Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Pisces, as this is a collective love message for your sign, please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Let's see Pisces, what do we have for you? What do we have for Pisces, please? Okay. We have a lot. Clarity. Toxic. Distance. Hope. Positivity. Mm, okay. So I feel Pisces, um, you are dealing here with someone, or we are connecting in this reading for you, with someone who is very superficial. I feel this person um, is quite materialistic or they have like a toxic relationship with money. Okay, there might be a distance between the two of you. For some of you might have met this person while you were traveling. But um, I feel this person came at some point. There is something here about them avoiding you or it's like they're coming across that way. Yeah. There is something here, yeah, I'm getting here. This person brought something toxic to the situation. I feel Pisces that you were the one really wanting this person's attention because at the beginning, everything was absolutely fabulous. And it feels like this person was very defensive. For some of you, this is someone who might have ghosted you. But I feel, Pisces, that it might be a case that at the moment you might feel like uh, I really regret meeting this person. This is someone who made you feel very lonely. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't surprise me if uh, this person made you feel that you are not good enough. Mm hmm. which obviously is not true. Overall energy, we have hope, positivity. Well, the cards are kind of showing here that you should be positive about the situation. Well, we'll see what is truly going on here. Let's see. A few cards here for you. Gosh. Mm. Okay. Um, show me more, please. So we have Six of Wands and Chariot. Queen of Wands and um, Ace of Swords with the Hierophant. Okay, Pisces. I am getting here for some of you that it might be kind of long distance thing. And there was a situation when you've expressed, oh, maybe we should meet up or maybe I can travel to meet you or something like this. And this person very quickly found some sort of excuse or they've ghosted you. I'm getting very strong with that kind of uh, situation for someone. It might not resonate with all of you because it's so specific. Mm -hmm. There is something here about as well Pisces you might have found out that this person actually is in another relationship with someone else with this ace of swords queen of wands and the hierophant I feel this person was chasing you they wanted your attention but at some point things changed they were really kind of making you feel really good you know yeah, yeah, yeah. They were giving you all the attention. You might be dealing with Taurus. We also have Cancerian energy with the chariot. Let's see. Show me more.
Page of Pentacles. Show me more, please. Page of Swords, Six of Swords. Mm -hmm. Five of Wands and the world. There is something here about travel indeed for some of you. Knight of Swords with the Eight of Wands and the High Priestess. This person, for some of you, I'm getting very specific reading. For some of you, they told you that they're going to be in touch and they've never kind of got back to you. Mm-hmm. That's what I am getting very strongly here. So we have Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Six of Swords, Five of Wands and the World. Yeah, it's like this person disappeared. They came across as individual who means business, but they are showing up in this energy. This is energy of pages. It's not much. This is someone who gave you attention. There is something here about them being very curious, you know, liking you a lot, Pisces. But um, with the Six of Swords and Five of Wands, I feel that this is someone who uh, created tension. Um, Six of Swords with the world can represent travel. And there was some sort of kind of... Um, it's like, I feel that you've noticed while you were talking with them that they are not, not really up for it. It's like, you felt like atmosphere changed during that conversation. Five of Wands can represent uh, argument, disagreement, tension, frustration, something like this. And this is surrounding some sort of movement, okay? Either way, I feel that this is a travel. And it's like there was a conversation and I feel this person when subject of travel was discussed, you could notice that they are, they are not that engaged in this conversation. And when they said, listen, I am really busy. I need to run to do something, but we'll be in touch. And then they disappeared. That's what I am getting. This is a very specific reading, very specific reading, and it might not resonate with all of you. If it doesn't, only if you have a wish, please check the other readings regarding, you know, uh, your placements, okay? But this is very specific reading, Pisces. For some of you, it might feel like personal reading. You might be dealing with um, Pisces, so we have another Pisces. Um, so you might be dealing with another Pisces, that's right. Um, we have Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Let's see. Let's see. If it's not about travel, it might be something to do with you are planning something to do with this person. And it's like they've ghosted you. Could you please show me this person's feelings towards Pisces? Sun, Ten of Wands. You might be dealing with Leo. This 
person's feelings towards Pisces. We have the world three of pentacles. Two of swords, knight of cups, seven of swords. Yeah. I feel that now it is a bit of a conundrum for this person because two of swords suggest that they are torn what to do and we have a knight of cups it feels like they want to reach out to you but it's awkward because seven of swords this is someone who was who was acting behind your back who was telling you something else right they were telling you something else but the, but action that they took was completely different They weren't fully transparent. They lied. You might be dealing with Sagittarius. The Sun, Ten of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles. There is something here about this person wanting to talk with you. It feels like they are missing your energy with the Sun. Also, I feel that they are missing your attention. Because that your attention was uh, ego boost for this person. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel that, you know, this is someone who who really wants to uh, talk with you. In the Wheel of Fortune, they want to change the circumstances. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel this is someone here who wants to chat with you. I feel this person it's quite overwhelmed with the fact that in a, on an emotional level they really wanted to reach out and come, for, come, come forward here with an offer of some sort but the reality is that they kind of mess things up that's why at the crossroads that's why it's 10 of that's why it's a 10 of wands because it's it's I want to, but how am I supposed to do that? You know? Interesting. Could you please show me how this person sees this whole situation? We have Queen of Swords, the Hanged Man. Four of Swords, Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's awkward. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Swords and Queen of Cups. Mm -hmm. You might be dealing with Gemini. We have more of your energy, Pisces. Queen of Swords, the Hanged Man, Four of Cups, and Nine of Cups. This is someone who's thinking a lot about this situation, a lot about you. They are trying to, I feel this person really trying to figure out how to approach you with the Hanged Man, but Four of Cups, it's like nothing. Uh, whatever they will come, come up with, it's not good enough. And they feel like, oh my gosh, what am I supposed to do? I really want Pisces to hear me out, but it's awkward. And we have nine of cups and I am very gentle with my words. <laughs> with the nine of cups, this is someone here who wants to be happy, who wants to have that wish fulfillment, who wants to approach you. That's their wish fulfillment. But with the two of pentacles, seven of swords and queen of cups, this is someone who is perfectly aware that they came across as someone who cannot be trusted, you know, with the Seven of Swords, Two of Pentacles, they were telling you something else and when they were acting behind your back, it's like, you know, juggling in that kind of with the Seven of Pentacles, that's essentially what it means. And I feel this person was juggling, uh, it's like they were playing with your emotions, with the Queen of Cups and they are aware of this. Yeah, it feels like it's, yeah. It's quite difficult for this person. Let's see Pisces, your perspective. 
could you please show me Pisces perspective regarding this person cross watches divorce can be reversed okay could you please show me Pisces perspective regarding this whole situation Magician The Emperor and King of Pentacles Knight of Swords Queen of Cups and Seven of Wands Okay, I feel that you see this person as someone who is very very proud you know especially with this um, with uh, with the Emperor and King of Pentacles there is something here about yeah I feel that you see this person as someone who likes to be in control who can be very charming strength with the magician oh this person is charming they know what to say they know how to act they know how to make someone feels really good and i feel that's how you see them as a charmer essentially um knight of swords queen of cups seven of wands i feel that you have feelings for this person pisces um i feel that you would like this person to reach out to you yeah but there is also i feel with the seven of wands it's like you're coming from the place they will have to prove it to me that you know things will be different or that they care it's uh, i feel that you are quite guarded but at the same time i feel that you would like this person to approach you yeah but at the same time it feels like with the seven of wands that they did everything to push you away for some of you this is someone who blocked you um, but I am getting here that you are, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you are manifesting this person. If you've been thinking about them, you are attracting their energy back to your life. Pisces, with this magician, you're attracting that emperor, this emperor here. Mm -hmm. You might be dealing with Aries, we have Virgo, Gemini maybe that's why we have stay positive <laughs> let's see could you please show me the outcome could you please show me the outcome So we have the lovers, the ten of swords. Aha, uh -huh, and ten of cups. Interesting. With the seven of pentacles. Overall energy, hope, <laughs> the star. Eight of pentacles and two of wands. Pisces, it depends on you, but the card suggesting here that stay positive because I, i'm getting here with the lovers the ten of swords ten of pentacles and seven of pentacles that you will have an opportunity here to talk about what happened between the two of you and the lovers with the ten of swords suggest that this for some of you it was a romance it ended and this is someone who really emotionally hurt you there was a sense of betrayal for some of you, there was, uh, there was an ending of, of connection, maybe even long distance relationship. But we have Ten of Pentacles following the Ten of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles. And it feels here that this connection will be given a chance. So I am seeing here that this connection will be given a chance to, for both of you to reconnect, to reconcile. Seven of Pentacles, it feels here that, you know, 
I'm getting here that both of you quite are quite invested in this connection. In a sense, this person is thinking about you. They're trying to figure out how to do it, how to approach you. And I feel that you are manifesting this person. You know, the star eight of pentacles, two of wands. The thing is here that that's what they're showing me, Pisces. The star with the eight of pentacles suggests here that things can work out between the two of you. But with the two of wands, it, it might require making a distinctive decision. No more kind of, you know, wishy-washy energy. This is someone who needs to make a distinctive decision what they truly want. And they need to act upon, upon, the, upon you know, this, this, what they've decided to do. Um, you might be dealing with Aquarius. We have Gemini. So let's see, Pisces, what this person wants to tell you. Could you please show me what this person wants to confess to Pisces? What this person wants to confess to Pisces? I have seen the future with you. I want you by my side. Why won't you give me a space? I cannot grow. Mm -hmm. An excuse, that is. Can you accept me as I am? You didn't care with someone who is very insecure. This is just a facade. This person wants to confess to, I am sorry for blocking you. I was triggered. Yeah. We've been talking about this, right? That this person might have blocked you, Pisces. I am more emotional than I show. They will reach out, Pisces. They will. Pisces, <laughs> I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Pisces, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very, very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.